Robert Taylor III, Bad Pond Show Outdoors. Uh, today we're working on sanding the Project Gemini boat. Um, and there are a couple major rules you're going to pay attention to when you're sanding. Um, rule number one, it's all about feel and sight. Uh, what I mean by that is you can see uh, imperfections, um, but you can feel them a whole lot better. Uh, there are times when you can look down, down the side of the boat and, and you'll see imperfections, places you miss sanding, um, dirt, orange peel effect in the, in the paint, um, but you, know, you feel along it, and there's more subtle things you'll feel, um, uh, but you know, when you're actually standing on itself, um, a good pair of gloves will help, um, you can see these gloves, they're actually gray gloves, uh, dark gray gloves, they're covered in white paint, um, and they're roughly, they're pretty much destroyed, um, you want to start with about 100 grit. We're up to uh, 150 is what we're doing now, uh, and you know the higher you get, the the, the uh, less harsh it is on the paint. Um, rule number two being you want to use a good um, elbow brace if you're doing it by hand. Uh, I, when I was doing this before, my elbows were toast um, relatively quickly. I think I'm uh, three or four hours into it now doing it by hand because my my power sander's out right now. Um, and I'm wearing swift wick uh, arm sleeves. Um, they're generally designed for people, uh, runners, athletes, stuff like that. But I'm using them today as, uh, as elbow uh, braces. And, man, it's made a pretty big difference. Um, it also helps keep you cooler if you're not overheating like you do with some of the, uh, the neoprene sleeves. Uh, and you know, another major, major rule when you're doing this is, uh, like I was saying, sight before, but... You want to make sure you have a clean work surface um, so you can see and feel everything uh, that's that you're doing. Um, you know, so, so keep a wet towel nearby, uh, a water bottle, something like to kind of keep the the, uh, the paint getting wet. Um, and this is uh, polyurethane paint over top of uh, gel coat, which did not adhere properly. Um, they, they should have used primer. They should use self etching primer at that. Um, it didn't happen with this, so there's spots that uh, are coming off very quickly and very harshly. Um, and uh, keeping it wet kind of helps to uh, just keep a lot of the build up away. Um, kind of helps uh, keep things kind of clumped together so it's not in your way all the time. Uh, but essentially, that, those are kind of the main rules that I go by when I'm sanding a bass boat um, or any fiberglass uh, project for that matter. Uh, again, I'm Rob Tilter, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Thanks again.